Hey guys, welcome back to HGTV Handmade with me, Marianne. All this week, we are kicking it old school, literally. We're back at college and taking this beige box of a dorm room to the next level, because I'm pretty sure we can do better than this. So much better, right? So why don't you guys come with me while we get started on my first project. Okay, so if you've ever lived in a dorm, you know two things are at a premium, seating and storage. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a bench slash storage piece out of reclaimed wood and a couple of vintage milk crates. Now the first thing we need to make our amazing rolling storage bench are two three foot lengths of two by 12 pine board. Now you can use actual reclaimed wood for this, but I didn't have any handy. So we are making this look weathered like this by giving it a coat of wood stain. Now if you like the raw wood look, you could definitely go with that. You may want to give it a nice rub down with a piece of fine grit sandpaper and seal it with some clear polyurethane. So once you have your wood stained, we're going to talk about these metal milk crates. Now, we definitely want metal for this project because these are going to hold up the top part of the bench and they need to be able to support someone's weight. So metal is the way to go. You can find these secondhand. I have found them in thrift stores before. Um, I've also found them at estate sales. Okay, so we have our boards, we have our milk crates, now we need a way to put it all together. So here are the hardware items that you need to assemble this yourself. You want four two inch swiveling casters. This makes it a lot easier to move, especially if they swivel. See that? So four of these. You're going to need a drill. If you don't have a drill in your dorm room, you can probably find someone to borrow one from, or you could pick one up at the hardware store for about $30. Next we need some pipe straps. I'm not specifying a size on these because it really depends on your milk crate and how far apart the bars are. But they look like this. You have a hole on each end and an open space in the middle. These are going to clamp over the milk crate and connect to the wood board. And last but not least, some one and a quarter inch wood screws. Now you don't want to go longer than one and a quarter inches because our 2 by 12 is less than two inches thick. You don't want to get a screw in the somewhere. Okay, so let's start putting this bad boy together. All right, so we have our bottom board in place. Now you're gonna grab your two milk crates and kind of lay them out. You wanna put one on each end and the fit should be pretty much perfect. So once your milk crates are in place, grab a couple of your copper pipe straps. They don't have to be copper, but mine are copper. You want to use two pipe straps on each milk crate. Kind of stagger them in place. <laughs> I always get so excited about power tool time. Now I'm using a pine board, which is a pretty soft wood, so I don't need to drill a pilot hole first. However, if you're using reclaimed wood, something that's harder, you're definitely going to want to drill a pilot hole first uh, so you can really get the screw all the way in there. Okay, we have these firmly in place. We're gonna slide this over, bring in our other piece of wood. While you're doing this, kind of check it out and pick the side that looks prettiest to you. I like how this one has multiple colors and textures, so this is going to be the top of my bench. Lay that pretty side down. Now we're going to bring our other piece, flip it over so we can attach this to the other side of the milk crates. And now we're going to repeat with the pipe straps on the other side of the milk crate. Okay, so our top and bottom boards are attached and the last step is to add our casters. Again, we're using two inch swiveling casters to make this really easy to move around the room. Now when you're placing your casters, put them on an angle. This way you're not going to have to worry about the wood splitting along the grain. Also, place the casters closer to the edge. This is gonna make your bench a lot more stable so it's not going to tip over. However, don't go too close to the edge or you could split the wood. To attach these, we're just gonna grab a 
few more of our one and a quarter inch screws. Our casters are in place. Now it's time for that moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I think that a piece of furniture like this is super helpful in any small space. So I'm gonna show you three ways that you can use it. Guys, I have to say, I am pretty proud of this bad boy. I think it would look good in so many rooms, even other than a dorm room. But here we are. So how would you use a piece of furniture like this? Would you use it for your gaming gear, records, as a bookshelf, or something else? Why don't you let me know in the comment below, and I will see you guys next time. you let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. I got a game to play. <laughs> the TV's not on. I don't need that. I play it in my mind. <laughs>